so just a quick video to demonstrate the uh, capabilities of the two-dimensional inclination sensor, the Jim 500R, but more importantly, just to give a quick run through of the can open interface, what information you get from it and what the uh, protocol looks like and what the uh, data output looks like from the inclination sensor. I'm going to be using a uh, USB to CAN uh, interface via USB into my uh, computer and you'll be able to see the output and also the uh, way of decoding the information. Okay, so now I have connected the sensor via the USB to CAN interface to my PC. I can now open this CAN uh, master uh, piece of software and if I uh, press the start on the NMT service, you'll see that the blinking uh, on the LED of the sensor is now steady green. It means the sensor is active and able to read the information. Um, you can see that the board right here is standard 50K board from the sensor itself. If I now click read all, I get all the general device information from the sensor and I can receive all the other information as I wish. So clicking through the tabs, of course the communication, I can read and you see uh, how that is being uh, received from the CAN interface, the PDO settings and the PDO um, transmission, mapping, etc. Of course you can send and receive parameters to and from the sensor and now if I go into the uh, inclination view that's specific to the Gym 500, if I do a read all on here, it now gives me information from the sensor with respect to the um, x-axis and the y-axis and also the uh, temperature information of the sensor there. So now if I start to rotate the sensor <clears throat> and do a read all, you'll see that the readings have changed. I move the sensor again, and now if I do a read all, you'll see the readings have changed there. And um, in the resolution that I'm running the sensor at, if you just uh, times these numbers here by uh, 0 0.1, uh, you get the information in degrees. So. 85.2 there, so it's almost at 90 degrees. I have it, if I go back to flat here in the x-axis, you'll see it's uh, only a couple of degrees off flat. Read again, almost zero flat, not minus 0 0.3. So now I've connected the um, sensor uh, to the PC, I can also open the uh, can open tracer uh, element, and I can now trace the signal as it comes out of the sensor itself. And you can see here the data format of what's coming out. So the timestamp, the Cobb ID, the length of the data, and actually the raw data here. If I start to move the sensor, you'll see that the information is changing, and that's the can open information coming straight out of the sensor at that 50k board rate. And you can see those values changing there on the display of what's coming out here of the sensor. So that's the can open information that's being output in hex format. And then we have to decode that information. Okay, so now that we're getting the uh, hexadecimal uh, output from the Jim 500 inclination sensor, and you saw the information coming out in sort of format that you can see here, the actual um, information has got three default elements, the temperature, the x-axis movement, and the y-axis movement. And that the way that the data was being output so we saw the timestamp, the cub ID, the data length, and then the bytes information. 
from the from the string that was coming out of the the sensor and so we split this into these um, bytes information so byte one and two refers to the temperature byte three and four is the uh, horizontal x-axis and byte five and six are the y-axis so if i just take the string information that uh, was being output the first two bits of information are the temperature now this uh, which came out which was from the sensor in is in hex format and if you convert from hex to decimal uh, this value here equals 23 so that's telling us that the sensor temperature was 23 degrees celsius and then if we take the, the next two bytes of information uh, from the string um, it will then tell you what the x-axis was. So this 0, 3, 0, 0 equates to 0x, 0, 0, 0, 0, 3. That's by bytes, um, like I said here, bytes 3 and 4. So bytes come in reverse order from the string. So you have to flip the zeros to the front of it. So 0, 3, 0, 0 actually is 0, 0, 0, 3 and 0x in hexadecimal format so bytes high to low you have to swap them and like I said if you're timesing by uh, 0.1 this would mean that the angle was 0 0.3 degrees and then same for the uh, y-axis so the y-axis here is bytes 5 <laughs> And you'll see here <clears throat> that that was B0FF. So again, you have to swap the high and low byte. So the actual message is 0XFFB0. Um, and that is um, then converted via hex to uh, decimal, which gives us minus 80. And considering uh, a resolution of 0.1, so times it by 0.1 means that the answer is 8 degrees. So I hope that helps to how you decode the information. So it's standard can open uh, protocol really of uh, bytes. You just have to do in your PLC or whichever control method you're using uh, the flipping and swapping of the high to low bytes and then decoding from hex to decimal to give you the answer. So the first two bytes are the temperature, bytes three and four are the x-axis, bytes five and six are the y-axis. So just to show um, how the hex to decimal uh, conversion happens, if I just show you from a, an online source, I'm just using uh, a website here. If I input um, one of the codes that I uh, took from bytes five and six, and say this value here and say convert the decimal value is minus 80 as uh, mentioned times by the 0 0.1 means that that was point, uh, 0.8 degrees so it was 8 degrees so minus 80 times by 0 0.1 is 8 degrees if I choose another um, one of the examples that I had. So the temperature here and put it in here and click convert. You can see that the decimal number is 23. So just a simple hex to decimal conversion will give you the values from the can open uh, elements output of the different bytes. So just to summarize, the GIM 500R inclination sensor, which has got um, can open interface, gives X, Y, and temperature output via the can open interface, which we saw via the tracer and via the can open suite. Um, if you can do a um, hexadecimal to decimal conversion, allows you to see what those values actually mean. 
but it's perfect for mobile automation, um, commercial vehicles, etc., etc., where can open interface is used quite regularly as the operating protocol. So it just gave a realistic view of what those values mean. I was just using a USB to CAN interface to show you the output via the PC.